Ever spotted a wiggly creature in your soil and thought, ah, great, more worms must mean better soil? Hold up, that's not always the case. While some worms are your garden's secret superheroes, others are silent troublemakers lurking beneath the surface. You might be nurturing the enemy without even knowing it. Before you celebrate every worm you find, it's time to learn which ones are truly helping your garden and which are quietly causing chaos. If you're serious about keeping your garden thriving, you need to know the difference. Now let's talk about the bad guys, flatworms. These worms may look harmless at first glance, but don't let their appearance fool you. Flatworms are predators, and they're not picky eaters. They'll munch on plant roots, leaves, and even your helpful earthworms. Yes, that's right, flatworms actually hunt and eat earthworms, putting your garden's health at serious risk. Unlike earthworms, flatworms don't help your soil. They don't aerate it, and they don't enrich it with nutrients. In fact, the more flatworms you have, the fewer beneficial worms you'll see over time. These ribbon-like invaders often show up after heavy rains or in overwatered soil, and they can spread fast if left unchecked. If you're not sure what kind of worms are in your garden, it's easier than you think to find out. Earthworms are usually brown or pink, long and round in shape, and you'll notice their bodies are clearly segmented. They'll often be found deep in the soil or hiding under mulch. You might even see their castings on the surface, which look like small, crumbly pellets of soil. Flatworms, on the other hand, look completely different. They're flat, hence the name, ribbon-like, and often have bright or unusual colors like yellow, orange, or even striped patterns. Unlike earthworms, flatworms tend to glide on the soil surface rather than burrow into it. If you see something that looks like a wet shoelace slithering over your mulch, there's a good chance it's a flatworm. How to fight back and get rid of flatworms. If you discover flatworms in your garden, don't panic, but don't ignore them either. You can fight back using a few tried and true methods that won't harm your good worms or your plants. One of the most effective natural solutions is introducing beneficial nematodes. These microscopic organisms are predators of flatworms but leave earthworms alone. You can buy them from most garden centers or online. To apply, simply mix one packet of nematodes with one gallon of water and sprinkle it evenly across your soil using a watering can or sprayer. Make sure the soil stays moist for a few days afterward to give the nematodes time to work. Another method is using diatomaceous earth, a natural powder made from fossilized algae. It looks like fine flour but feels like tiny shards of glass to soft-bodied pests. Sprinkle a thin line of diatomaceous earth around the base of your plants or across areas where you've seen flatworms. As they crawl over it, the powder slices into their skin, dehydrating and killing them. Be sure to reapply after rain. And here's a big one. Don't overwater your garden. Wet, soggy soil is the perfect environment for flatworms to thrive. Keep your watering consistent but not excessive, and try to water early in the morning to allow the soil to dry during the day. If you discover flatworms in your garden, don't panic, but don't ignore them either. You can fight back using a few tried and true methods that won't harm your good worms or your plants. One of the most effective natural solutions is introducing beneficial nematodes. These microscopic organisms are predators of flatworms but leave earthworms alone. You can buy them from most garden centers or online. To apply, simply mix one packet of nematodes with one gallon of water and sprinkle it evenly across your soil using a watering can or sprayer. Make sure the soil stays moist for a few days afterward to give the nematodes time to work. Another method is using diatomaceous earth, a natural powder made from fossilized algae. It looks like fine flour but feels like tiny shards of glass to soft-bodied pests. Sprinkle a thin line of diatomaceous earth around the base of your plants or across areas where you've seen flatworms. As they crawl over it, the powder slices into their skin, dehydrating and killing them. Be sure to reapply after rain. And here's a big one. Don't overwater your garden. Wet, soggy soil is the perfect environment for flatworms to thrive. Keep your watering consistent, but not excessive, and try to water early in the morning to allow the soil to dry during the day. It's easy to assume that all worms are helpful, but now you know that's simply not true. While earthworms are your garden's best underground allies, flatworms can be silent destroyers. The key to a healthy garden isn't just having worms, it's having the right worms. The next time you're digging around in your beds or turning over your compost, take a closer look. 
Identifying what kind of worms are living in your soil could be the difference between a lush, productive garden and one that struggles no matter how much effort you put in. So don't just let worms wiggle around without question. Learn to recognize the heroes and keep a close eye out for the villains. Because when it comes to worms in your garden, not all are created equal, and your plants are counting on you to know the difference. Stay rooted, stay curious, and may your garden grow stronger with every handful of good soil.